I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna do our initial thoughts on the new Channel Islands Twin Pin. So the Twin Pin is a new model that's come out recently from Channel Island Surfboards, and it's a collaboration between, I guess, their head shape and our Brit Merrick, uh, and one of their, I guess, most fun surfing and innovative team riders, Mikey February. So this is a Twin Pin that I've got, it's a 6.1. I believe it's stock, but I have seen some different dimensions online, but this is 6'1", 19 7 8 2 and 11 16 and it's 34.8 litres. So looking over the twin pin, uh, rocker is pretty gentle, bit of lift through the nose, and also why you've got that outline there, there's a beak in the nose. So the beak, we've seen it on a few boards, holds a lot of volume under the chest, and then it kind of holds a bit of volume through the board. It's not overly thick, it has a nice rail. Um, for 2 and 11 16 I'd kind of call it a mid rail, uh, but nothing too crazy, but does hold a bit of volume under the chest and up the front of the board. Flipping it over where it gets pretty interesting, I was trying to work it out, um, I got it quite early before there was details available, but it's actually a flat bottom. I believe there is no concave, it's completely flat, and you don't see many boards these days with a full flat bottom. So I believe it's something that um, Al Merrick used to do back in the day with some twins for like Tom Curran or something. Uh, so they've kept it flat and then it rolls through the back end here to a double concave that comes out through the fins. Nothing um, crazy, but a nice kind of V. Actually, I don't know if it's quite a double, it's more of a V that just kind of rolls away from the stringer uh, to the rail and it has a nice sharp V through the center there, which provides a bit of grip uh, in replacement of that center fin. So this is our initial thoughts, where we kind of get a board, just run through it. We'll get a few surfs together, a um, bit of time on the board in the water, get some footage together and see how it goes. Um, but just kind of wanted to introduce the board. So it's pretty frothing, check this out. I'm a big fan of Mikey February surfing. Uh, he's a pretty exciting surfer. Uh, we know he's definitely capable in that high performance arena, like WCT, had time on the tour, can surf at that high level. Uh, but has definitely taken on the last few years to be a bit more of a cruiser. Uh, and looking at boards like this. I don't know if you guys have seen, but he put out a clip recently or a short movie called Sonic Souvenirs, um, where he surfs this board at two levels. One is a very high performance level, uh, and one is him just kind of cruising and making surfing look like a whole lot of fun. If you haven't seen that, um, check it out. I'll try and put a link in um, the video if I can. Uh, it's definitely worth watching. Mikey February surfing is pretty epic and it's put together by Kai Neville who put together like Modern Collective and some of the best surf videos ever. So uh, it is well produced. Anyway, back to the board. Um, yeah, I had a couple of surfs on this. Um, yeah, I got it a little bit longer. I wasn't really sure where to go with it. When I ordered it through the guys in Channel Islands Australia, um, it wasn't available. I hadn't actually seen one and was sitting down. I'd seen some surfing done on it and what I thought of the board and I thought it was more of a cruiser. Something I kind of want a bit extra volume. Uh, I'd surf through like, and I saw like what the board was designed to be. So my short boards normally sit around 31 liters. I'm 92 kilos and I'm almost 5'11". So it's kind of got almost four liters more than my short boards. So I wanted something that paddled well, had a bit almost like, almost like a mid-length kind of feel where I'd cruise and I wouldn't be doing a lot of work. Um, and then also when waves got a little bit bigger, I saw it because it does have a little bit of lift through the nose uh, and that beak and the volume in the front, I saw it almost as a little bit of a step up. So I went with a 6.1, uh, had a few surfs on it, feels really good uh, and I'm really enjoying it. In the bottom, uh, Channel Islands and Brit Merrick have actually done a spin specifically for the board and it's a Brit Merrick twin fin. Um, so it is, I believe, halfway between a keel and an upright twin. So perfectly positioned. Uh, this is what I've been surfing primarily, but saying that I am, I just got some Machado twin fins, the Keels uh, from Futures, and a few other cool new twins that I'm gonna throw in it, check it out, see how they surf. Uh, but at the moment, this feels really good. Um, but this is 6.1, it's a bit longer, a bit bigger. Um, so yeah, that's the fin I've been riding in that. Also having the 6.1, I, I was kind of, I saw some different clips where even I said like Mikey February surfing at very much high performance surfing. Uh, I was keen to check out how it would go in a smaller size. So I got myself a 5.11. So the 5.11, a little bit smaller, two inches shorter, uh, less volume, I think at around 32 and a half liters. So for the full review, we'll check both boards out, uh, get clips on both boards, see how they go. Cause lots of comments I've been getting on our Instagram at the surfboard guide have been around how to size this board. So I was pretty sold on getting it big, getting it cruisy, uh, getting it really fun to surf. But I've seen some people surfing it more like a short board. So went back, got a 5.11, 
just so I could kind of work out what works best for me and I guess be able to provide advice on, on both sides because lots of the comments have been around, around sizing. So yeah, that's the initial thoughts on the um, twin pin. We'll get some clips together. Uh, we'll get the full review together. We definitely won't sleep on this one because a lot of people have been frothing out and hitting us up on it. Um, and we'll have that coming out in the coming weeks. But if you have any questions about the board, uh, hit us up at the Surfball Guide on Instagram. Uh, comment below on the YouTube video. If you have any recommendations or anything you'd like to see in the fins, uh, both boards are rocking futures. So anything from the futures range. Um, but like I said, I've got the Machado keels, I've got the K2s, um, Rastovich keels, but anything else you can think of that runs a futures box, I'm keen to throw it in. So comment below or hit us up on Instagram at the Surfball Guide. Anyway, thank you to um, Channel Island Surfboards, um, Devon and also Onboard Store uh, for getting these boards to us. Frothing, check them out. Frothing to get some waves on footage and get the full review out soon. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.